Hey guys, this is Alex from Alshnet Auto Bar. So we do our research how to swap eight inch screen on the Ram 1500, 2500, 3500 uh, with eight inch screen to the 12 inch screen. So we did it guys. It's take for us a long time, but we find out and we'll tell you the secret how we can do that. If you will be subscribed and put the like on our video. So what do you need when you unplug your own radio so you have these connectors and you need to repin this small connector on the faceplate not on the radio on the faceplate here so when you'll be changing this radio for the 12 inch radio you'll have separated screen from the radio receiver and the faceplate so let me demonstrate inside while you have it well, that's how you'll take it So, ripping the pin. Wait, Alex. We remember we need first got this cable. So the most important thing, yes, this the cable which is going from the receiver. This is the white cable, and we don't have the part number of it. Though this white cable go all the way to the, your screen, so you can turn on the screen. Otherwise, your screen will not, uh, oh, like not turn on. So then you'll need to reconnect the pins will be let on the description no so you open it from this side and you see remember a red plastic over here yeah you just remove the red plastic which is covering here on the connector and reconnect the pins over here will be described on the, uh, our description where which pin you will need to put on which position it will be attached the picture for you guys so you will see everything And after this point, you connect this to the screen. You connect all your connectors to the receiver. You will need to get your serial number to get the code. You can get the code on eBay or anywhere else. So you will need the serial number here. So you get the code. Also guys, you can do upgrade like uh, Wi-Fi antenna, GPS antenna, yeah, satellite you... radio or how it's called. So, yeah, so you can add all of this stuff to your car if you don't have it. You just need the wiring, the right wiring to do all of this stuff. We have just regular antennas, correct? Yeah, this one is for the screen. The regular antenna is here, so we don't have the satellite on this vehicle. We might will be adding from our Rocky Ridge. We're still thinking about this. We might be adding also the amplifier with the subwoofer. So we'll need to change the whole wiring system under the seats. So stay tuned. We will be see that in our video too. Show them what we did. So over here. We got 12 inch screen. Everything's work, the volume work. We didn't connect the Bluetooth yet, but we'll connect it right now. It's the pin right out in the back. So the climate work, all the functions is working here. So you can use it from... Also guys, you can you have to check these options because uh, our truck have heat seats, heat wheel. Uh, we try to connect other radio like this. Yeah, with uh, a different part number over here. You can see the part numbers. So the part number is really important because they don't, might be not have some function. They might be don't have navigation or they don't have any controls like hidden seat, AC seat, hidden steering wheels. So this is very important when you'll be installing to your vehicle. In our situation, everything is working here is fine. So you can add the climate. You can see Alex, can... I think our subscribe waiting what we did it after repin. So after repin this radio, what we did, so you definitely need to upload this program to your phone or the laptop, depends what you will be using. So you also will need the we using the 16 pins uh, connector. Connector for the Mopar and 
we're also using the OBD Amex 200 OBD link. link. It's, it's OBD, OBD link. link. MX yeah, plus. you can buy on Amazon or use any other OBD on Bluetooth or yeah. like USB. First, you need a 60 pin connector, plug in in Getaway. Getaway is located under under dash over here. Yeah, you can. It's it's two two connectors. You can see it over here. So you unplug it from Getaway and you plug your uh, cable over here. Yeah, after that, connect OBD link to Alpha OBD. And from here, you will need to uh, check your uh, RAM, and then you go to body control module, body computer, uh, MY 2019 power net. So you check and connect. connect. You see connected so after that we go to, to active diagnostic yeah and then you'll need to find out configuration change you press it here and then you select the options over here so when you select the option here you'll have the following menu here and uh, you will need to find you can use search bar We'll Send attach the pictures time. of every uh, menu that you need to select to get to the right place. And after you do this, then you need to uh, take out the battery plug from negative or positive, put it back to reload the radio and close your truck for at least 30 minutes. Don't use anything, just close it and after 30 minutes the system will be rebooting constantly and take the bcm uh, setups which you will be doing with our screenshots after that point you'll get the radio you can turn on you can tip every stuff so you can use media so everything is working we just need to put everything back in the place and you're good to go also you can you, you can buy this stuff from our store uh, in Austin at Auto Parts. See you guys in the next video.